Mo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, several months ago, I had made this table for my DeWalt portable table saw, and it has worked out really well for me, for the, at least for the projects that I do, where most of them is working with some smaller material. However, I've got a bit of a problem. Um, for cutting some longer uh, board stock or plywood through here, I'm having a bit of a problem keeping it true to the fence. The fence is only 20 inches long on this saw, so if I'm running some longer material through here, it's wanting to ride a little bit and get away from the fence because it's so short and I can't get a, a nice true straight cut. So what I'd like to do is make a fence extension. And I'm just gonna be able to, clamp a temporary fence extension, I can just clamp it to the existing fence, but I'm gonna run it the full length of my workbench all the way to the very end. I have a two inch cantilever at the very end of my workbench right here and it's going to allow me to be able to clamp the, the extended fence to that and it'll clamp it to here and provide a nice long straight cutting edge. So that's the idea. So with that said, let's get started. So I went down to the local metal supply store and, and, and found this piece of 1x3 aluminum which I thought was going to be perfect for what we're going to be using this for. It's 12 feet long, um, it's lightweight and nice and straight and I'll be able to get um, and not only an 8 foot fence out of it but a 4 foot fence as well. It's going to work out pretty good. Took it over to my cutoff saw, cut the right dimensions I needed and then just took a file and uh, cleaned up uh, all the edges inside and out and deburred it. and. You'll see why here in a minute while we're going to do that. But uh, once I got all that done on, on both the long pieces and the short piece, um, I got a, pinch, a piece of uh, inch and a half by eighth inch thick uh, bar stock right here. And this is what I'm going to use to make the 90 degree um, bracket, if you will, that's going to be on the end of the eight foot piece. And uh, I'm pre-measuring and going to drill a couple of holes to mount it to um, just using a center punch right here to punch those starter holes in there and I'm going to drill this through and the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm doing them now I just it'd be easier to drill these holes down before I cut it and bend this bracket into the shape that I need so after I have the holes done I uh, just cut the right length off right here and then took it over to the belt sander and just uh, rounded the edges and kind of deburred it and smoothed it up a little bit and then back over to the Yoast and got everything where I needed to be, nice and square. And just used like a dead blow hammer to get started and then a ball peen hammer to finish it up nice and tight. And that made for a perfect uh, 90 degree bend that turned out pretty good. And then this is uh, what I was talking about earlier. I got a piece of scrap poplar, took it over to the bandsaw and cut out uh, some pieces that are going to go in the very ends um, of the 1x3. Uh, nice tight fit, just pound him in. I just wanted to have something that closed up the ends really nice and uh, you know I didn't want to have any open ends and that actually worked out pretty good. And I was able to do that on both ends of the, the eight foot section and the four foot section as well. And then this is the bracket that I made on, for on the eight foot section. Uh, just uh, marked some holes and uh, I pre-drilled them because we are going to be using some self-tapping metal screws but these small little pilot holes they just, they just help uh, assist the, the screwing, um, even though they are self-tapping screws. It worked out pretty good. And then there it is. I just clamped it to my existing fence using some spring clamps that I picked up at, uh, at Sears and double-checked the square. Everything's nice and square, and uh, this is my first go at it. And uh, i, I got to say I'm pretty pleased with the way this turned out. Everything was nice and smooth. Um, it ran perfectly square and flat up against the fence. And I couldn't ask for a better uh, situation. I, I'm really pleased the way that turned out. And you can see how flat and smooth it runs up against that long fence. And I was done with the 8-foot section. Just take out the spring clamps, move that out of the way, and put the 4-foot section on. And it's the same result. It's a smaller piece of plywood, but everything run nice and smooth. Really excited about the way this turned out. It was a good addition to the shop. Okay, well there it is, the table saw fence extension is complete, and as you can see, this worked out just like I was hoping it would. 
So not only am I four feet beyond the saw blade here, but I'm also 18 inches in front of the table. That really works out well for running eight foot sections of long board material or plywood through here. Makes for lining up everything nice and square. And not only do I have the versatility of removing this, this, this eight foot long fence, but I can replace it with this four foot fence as well for more shorter material. Uh, that worked out really good as well. And this was a really good addition to the table saw table. Okay, one more last thing. Um, this table really worked out well for me and it's, it served my purpose really well. But if I was gonna make another one, the one change that I would make, and I'm not certain how I would do that just yet, I haven't thought about it, but this, this blade and this fence uh, with the stock fence opens up only to about 18 inches. And if I could do something different, it would be nice to be able to make it to about 25 inches so I could get a full half sheet of plywood in here and I could cut anything at that at that uh, dimension. Right now I'm limited to 18 inches uh, on a four by eight sheet of plywood, but other than that, that doesn't happen very often. Um, I'm still pleased with the way it turned out. Also, if you wanna watch some other videos that I won't be sharing on uh, my YouTube channel, you can follow me on Instagram at Jimbo's Garage. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.